Hey, what's up, fellow gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the mesmerizing world of PC gaming graphics uh, from the humble beginnings to the mind-blowing visuals we're enjoying today. But before we jump into it, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss out on our gaming explorations. All right, let's roll. And so, montage of classic games, Remember the days when gaming graphics were all about those chunky pixels? We're talking Pong, Pac-Man, the Ogs of gaming. It might look ancient now, but those were the pioneers that laid the foundation for the epic journey we're about to embark on. Transition to 3D era. Fast forward to the A90s, the era of 3D graphics. Doom and Quake were the trailblazers, introducing us to a whole new dimension of gaming. We went from flat 2D landscapes to immersive environments that blew our minds. It was like stepping into a whole new universe. Now, let's talk about the graphics card wars of the late in 90s and early 2000s. NVIDIA and RT were duking it out, and we had iconic cards like the GeForce 2 and the Radeon 9800 Pro. These bad boys were the keymasters to a world of visual awesomeness we could only dream of. HD gaming. The mid-2000s ushered in the era of high-definition gaming. Half-Life 2, Far Cry, and Doom 3 were like the rock stars of that time. Pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Suddenly, every pixel counted, and we were here for it. Crisis drops the bomb! Fast forward to 2007, and we were hit with the bombshell that is Crisis. This game was not only a beast to run, but also a graphical marvel. The lush jungles and mind-blowing physics set a new standard. Crisis became the gold standard for benchmarking PTS. If your rig could run Crisis smoothly, you had something special. Open world awesomeness. Moving on to 2010, we entered the era of open world awesomeness. Games like Grand Theft Auto or Fall Oak, New Vegas gave us vast, immersive landscapes. The level of detail and freedom to explore these open worlds was a game changer. The rise of indie games. 2013 marked the rise of indie games showcasing that graphics aren't all about big budgets. Titles like Papers, Please and Fez proved that unique art styles and innovative Gameplay could steal the spotlight. Even in the age of high-end graphics. VR and beyond. In 2016, virtual reality started gaining traction. Pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Games like Elite Dangerous and EVE. Valkyrie transported us to other worlds, making us feel like we were part of the game in a way we'd never experienced before. Ray Tracing Revolution! <laughs> now let's talk about 2018. The year that brought us the Ray Tracing Revolution. NVIDIA's RTX series dropped. And titles like Battlefield V and Metro Exodus showcase the power of real-time ray tracing. Reflections and lighting effects became so realistic you catch yourself staring at virtual puddles. Cyberpunk and next-gen dreams. In 2020, Cyberpunk 2077 became the poster child for next-gen graphics. The highly anticipated title brought us to the dazzling night city, pushing hardware to its limits. The dream of photorealistic gaming was closer than ever. DLs and beyond. 
Fast forward to today, 2023, where DLS East Deep Learning Super Sampling is transforming the game. Games like Control and Hitman 3 are utilizing AI to upscale graphics, delivering visuals that are mind-blowing while keeping performance smooth. Future gaming graphics, think mind-blowing. We're talking graphics are real. It's like you're living in the game, realistic lighting that mimics the sun's behavior, textures so detailed you can feel them, and AI cranking everything up a notch. Virtual reality? Brace yourself for an immersive experience that blurs the lines between game and reality. Quantum computing speeding things up, making physics and graphics insanely lifelike. Holographic displays might even turn your room into the game world. It's not just gaming, it's a visual revolution and it's gonna be wild. So there you have it. The evolution of PC gaming graphics, from pixels to photorealism. What's your favorite graphics milestone? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this trip down graphical memory lane, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more gaming goodness. Until next time, may your frame rates be high and your temperatures low. Happy gaming, everyone.